Today we are celebrating the exaltation of the cross. It's a celebration, it's a feast day of the cross, the exaltation of the Holy Cross. But the question remains, why? What are we celebrating? Well, we're celebrating Jesus' death on the cross for us, that this is a total self-gift of himself out of love for us. And the instrument of this love, of course, was him dying what? Dying on the cross. And so when we look at a crucifix, it should not be so much a sign of sorrow, although this does happen. Remember uh, Good Friday, of course, sometimes that's a very sorrowful day. But it is why? Because we still call it Good Friday because it's still a good action, an action of God showing his love for us. Now, talking about crucifixes, I know that each and every one of us hopefully have a crucifix either in our home or at our office, maybe many different places. And I'm always amazed at the stories behind people's crucifixes, the ones that they have in their house. Sometimes it's been passed on from generation to generation. I know that there's a couple in my mother's house that uh, I would love to have. Now, of course, they're hers. But it crosses, crucifixes that I grew up with. Now, what, six years ago, I realized that I did not have a crucifix myself, one that would be in my room when I was in the seminary. So I asked my mother, I said, Mom, can you get me a crucifix for Christmas? And she did. Now, it was a very beautiful crucifix, but it just did not touch my heart the way that I wanted to. It just did not look right to me. It may look right to someone else, and I'm not saying that it's a bad crucifix. I'm just saying that when, usually when we choose a crucifix, we choose one that would speak to us. So I went ahead, I went back to St. Patrick's Guild, and I got this one. I traded it in, and my mom was quite okay with that. And I got this crucifix. And for me, it's just something that uh, I try to look at every single day. As a matter of fact, it's hanging up in my office here where I can look at it when I'm meeting with couples or when I'm just working myself to look at this and to see God's love. Now, I'm sure that each and every one of you as well have a crucifix, hopefully, in your house. And I'm sure there's a story behind it. And I'd love to hear that story uh, someday. But once again, when we look at the crucifix, hopefully what we see is God's love for us. And so today on this feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross, let us make sure to look at a crucifix today and to simply thank God. Thank God for his selfless gift for us, for dying on the cross for us, so that we can experience his love. God bless.